Hello folks and welcome to another video for Combat Unchained. Many of you might ask the question, since there is no PvE, how do I progress and level up? Leveling up in most modern MMORPGs has become too easy. Nowadays pretty much every new MMO has vertical progression. We have been conditioned to receive instant gratification. But what does vertical progression mean? You keep leveling up and your character stats are being adjusted automatically by the game. So the higher your level becomes, the more hit points you will have. More strength, more durable and more stronger you will become. But you can't determine yourself where the stats go. Same for the gear. Every time you need an upgrade, you look on the next tier of items. Look on the green numbers, which would mean, oh, hey, this does XY more damage or has XY more armor. That's my upgrade. That's very simple and it does not really take any thinking into account. You just look at the numbers and select the one that is stronger. Everything is laid out for you, there is little to no theory crafting. Since every patch increases the gear gap, it results into an endless gear grind until people burn out. Not to mention that older content becomes obsolete. No one is going to visit old content, because there is nothing for them to do there. Now, Comet Unchained will have rather a a horizontal progression. This means you rather focus on developing the character rather than the gear. As we already know this game will allow you to allocate stats and boons and banes, which could make or break your character. There is more complexity and theory crafting, because you won't go ahead and just pick up the strongest armor or weapon. The armor and weapon you pick must fit to your character. You wouldn't want to wear heavy armor as a caster, it will make you very slow and that's ineffective. So what can we expect in uh, Combat Unchained? The concept of this game is, uh, as you are killing NPCs, enemy players, destroying buildings or bridges, gathering or crafting stuff, you won't know the, the exact value of those acts until later in the day. Your stats improve by performing actions that use this stat. For example, swinging a heavy sword increases your strength, allowing you to use heavier swords. Same for skills. Do you want to get better in fire magic? Use fire magic skills. You won't reach the soft cap in a short period of time. There is no hard cap. Once you reach the soft cap, you will always be able to raise that stat or ability, but progressively slower. It might take you years. It won't be like that you need to kill 100 golems or capture 10 towers or swing a weapon 1000 times to get a certain level accomplished or upgrade. You won't have to worry about any of that while playing Camelot Unchained. You won't know what the most effective way to progress is, only until later in the day you've been playing. So at the end of each game day you will receive a daily report email. This is a report that shows what you have accomplished during the last day's play session. Everything that you did is listed in the report. Defending, killing, mining, building, crafting, destroying. So you can look how well you have done and you will know what you've accomplished. And then for your contribution to the realm and war efforts you might get a sword, you might get this and that. Maybe your constitution will go up, or your strength. Or if the whole realm did well, all the players get a certain bonus. You might also be awarded with the ability to use a new weapon class or advance in crafting, as an example. Because the rewards are daily instead of immediate, exploit detection is very easy in this game. For example, uh, keep trading or uh, realm point trading. So if you want to progress properly and have your realm win and be strong, you are rather advised to do something productive for the realm rather than caring about your own personal gains. However, a small amount of vertical progression will reward players for using stats and skills. As previously said, there are no hard limits. Stats, skills and ability components have soft caps for progression after which advancement slows considerably. Even with unlimited advancement, vertical progression is carefully designed so new players will always be competitive with veteran players. This is very important. Similar to your daily personal report, there will be a server and real specific daily email to keep players in touch with the world. The realm news will change every day, based on the realm's challenges and accomplishments. Unlike the daily report, this is focused on realm's activities and highlights some of the top player's accomplishments during that cycle. News headlines recognize important events and player achievements in the more meaningful way than simple leaderboards. This is a great way to stand out. You can imagine logging in the next day and people will be talking about this and that guild who did that, or those players who accomplished yesterday this and that. 
This is 1000 times better than a leaderboard. Concluding, this system is great to develop realm pride and player recognition among your realm and enemy realms. It makes things exciting, like in a small town where a lot of crazy things happen. By tying players actions directly to their progression in stats, skills, abilities etc, immersion and fun is being generated. You won't be looking on how to level your tune as fast as possible to get a threat on reddit to get some sense of pride and accomplishment. You will be looking on ways to help your realm in great ways so people can talk about you. This becomes more than a game. So what do you think about the system? Personally, the MMO market was missing someone like this and I'm glad that Mark and CSC decided to go this route. Enough of this monotonous vertical grind for gear and points and endless grind. I'm very excited for this game and uh, keep in mind on 4th of July can't come fast enough. 4th of July is the better guys. So let me know down in the comments what do you think about the system and uh, what do you wanna guys see next? What should be the next video about? As always, if you like my content, please subscribe and share and also check my other videos. See ya next time.